The endorsement of Sweeling Kais as KwaZulu-Natal's preferred candidate for ANC president has not only shut the door on former President Jacob Zuma's attempt at a political comeback, it has also left Lindu Sisulu's presidential ambitions in tatters. Sisulu has long been seen as defying President Cyril Ramaphosa, while also criticizing the judiciary in what appears to be an attempt to impress the radical economic transformation faction within the ANC, but she has failed to find their favor. She was left out in the cold by the leadership in KwaZulu-Natal. The faction that still maintains a stronghold in the province announced Mkais as its preferred candidate for president, Paul Mashatail for deputy, Fumilo Majual for secretary general, and Namvilu Mokanian for deputy secretary. It did not endorse anyone for the treasurer position. However, Sisulu's campaign remained positive of her chances to be elected as president, arguing branches still held the final say on who would become party leaders in December. We welcome the endorsement and congratulate KwaZulu Natal on their choice of comrade Kabazelum Kais. To us, these are all efforts that seek to strengthen our democracy, said Sisulu's chief lobbyist, Mfumzim Dikazi. He added Sisulu's campaign was focused at grassroots level, because the December conference is a conference of the branches of the ANC Ndikazi, reiterated Sisulu was optimistic and looking forward to the party's elective conference, set to take place in Nazrak in Johannesburg. He said. She is inspired by the work that is quietly occurring in branch general meetings, especially where there are no interruptions and intimidation toward December. Sisulu made headlines at the beginning of the year when she launched a vitriolic attack on the judiciary and South African constitution, which she labeled a colonial construct. She opined in a piece published by the independent newspapers group, shortcomings in the constitution led to painstakingly slow transformation and continued grinding poverty among black citizens. Sisulu went on to call for the overhauling of the judiciary, arguing, in the high echelons of our judicial system are these mentally colonized Africans, who have settled with the worldview and mindset of those who have dispossessed their ancestors, and derided the concept of the rule of law as a colonial imposition. Despite harsh criticism directed at her for her sentiments which is seen as trying to win over the radical transformation grouping, Sisulu stood by her scathing attack on the constitution and judiciary. Ramaphosa's office issued a statement saying he had admonished the minister about her attack on the judiciary, and Sisulu conceded her words were inappropriate, adding she should retract this statement and affirm her support for the judiciary.